with 36 points. Hello, European film lovers. Welcome to the IFA Young Audience Award 2019. I'm Ivana Noah, and today we are the jury. <laughs> With another 2,800 teens from 55 cities in 34 countries across Europe and beyond who will choose the winner of the Young Audience Award 2019. Tonight is all about the prize. And we are live. The fight will be between a boxing girl, an artist in love, and a band of misfits that takes over the world. Today in the studio with us are the jury for, from Erfurt, Germany. Make some noise. <laughs> Marion Döring, the director of IFA, who will hand out this beautiful statue at the end of the evening. We also have the directors of every film. This is Christian Lowe from Los Bando. Make some noise. <laughs> Toby McDonald with Old Boys. <laughs> and Johan Timmers with Fight Girl. <laughs> Come on, who liked Los Bando? <laughs> who liked Old Boys? <laughs> And who would like to fight, girl? <laughs> there you go. This will be a very exciting night. Here are the nominated films. Yes! Great guys, you're doing Yeah, come back, I'm a rock! Do you want to go to the two over Halle Norge for 5,000 kroner? Yeah. Den er jo awesome! Jeg har ikke lappen en gang, det er jo... Hæ? Har du ikke lappen? Hold det fast! Smile, Amberson. These are the best days of your life. Amberson. I'm helping you up. If you see someone who realize you like him, tall, handsome. Winchester. She wants you to prove that you're artistic. But I'm not artistic. Thank God. I can help you. They teach you all the ways to die, but only you can learn how to live. Eerst denken, dan doen. Rustig en beheerst. Ik wil maar echt loslaten. Twee weer dat los. Zeg sorry. Joy. Oh. Wat moet je doen? Vecht. Dan kun je zelfverdediging. Ik wil niet zelfverdedigen. Ik wil beuken. Ik wil kickboksen worden. Most films will be available for streaming. You can find full information on the YAA website. That is yaa.europeanfilmawards.eu. Each country voted today and also selected brave jury speakers. Let's talk to the jury speakers of Erfurt, Germany. Hey guys, what are your names? Oh, I'm going to squeeze in. My name is Alessio. And my name is Lina. Did you have fun today, Lina? Yes, it's very interesting here to stay, and yes, it's very nice to see lots of films. Great, great. With and kids and that's good. Alessio. The day it's very beautiful. <laughs> that is very true. And Alessio, how is it being on camera? Uh, yeah. Are you nervous? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> that's okay, everyone's nervous, I think. And Lena, how is it being on camera? It's very interesting to see, uh, to see on camera, to yeah. be on camera, yeah. and I'm nervous too. So, what was most difficult when choosing the film? On this year, the film choose is very hard. On the years um, before, there was easier. 
for yeah? me. Yes. You think? And why is that? This year, um, the films were were very good. Yeah, all they were all very, very good. Very good. And on the last year, or on two years ago, there were um, one film better, more better than the others, and yes. I think the competition this year will be very close because they were all sublime. Yes. So, all, yeah, give some noise. All kids are creative. They are passionate filmmakers, artists, performers, writers. If you want to learn more, more about all speakers, you can find some intro clips on the website. That is again, yaa.europeanfilmawards.eu. Now, let's watch some of the intro clips. Make some noise. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gabriela Rodriguez and I'm 13 years old. I used to live in London, but now I live in Lisbon, Portugal with my mom, my dad and my younger brother. I really like the movie The 400 Blows by Francois Truffaut because it really helps you get inside the teenage mind. Even though I'm not a film freak, I keep my eyes wide for films. I can speak French, English, Turkish and I learn Chinese. Films aren't just sequences of images. They tell us stories that give us many feelings like joy, passion, tears, loves, and maybe angriness. I am... Um... Thirteen years old. I love singing, dancing, and acting. I prefer English because it's international language and you can talk on them with other people from other countries. Hi everyone, my name is Pietro, I'm 13 years old. And my hobbies are singing, playing the guitar, uh, drawing, dancing, and in my free time I swim with a club. I'm really excited for this new experience, so thank you and see you soon, bye! I look forward to participate in YAA because it's an opportunity to see the latest movies and meet many interesting people. Bye! Here's what happened today. Young film lovers in 55 cities, 34 countries across Europe and beyond saw three films, debated intensely, voted, counted their votes, and are now ready to tell us the results. One country, which is not in Europe, but is full of film lovers, sent their votes earlier today. That is because while they were watching the films, we were sleeping. Here are the jury speakers from Australia. Hello, my name is Jessie Wills. And my name is Anjali, and we are reporting from Brisbane, Australia's new world city. We were so happy to participate in EFA's Young Audience Award on this sunny autumn day. Here are the Brisbane votes for this year's films. Los Bando received a total of 39 points. Old Boy received a total of 20 points. Fight Girl received a total of 41 points. Thank you, EFA and Europe. We had a blast. <laughs> Thank you, Anjali and Jesse. Next, wo what next one is the land of Mozart. We have votes from Vienna and St. Pölten. Florentina and Flora. We are here to tell you the final points from Austria. La Spanga got 35 points. Old Boys has got 22 points. And Five Girl has got 43 points. Bye. Thank you so much, Austria. We continue with Waffles. <laughs> We continue with waffles and the results from Brussels, Belgium. Here it's Samuel and Sis. Hello. We are Sis. And Samuel. And we are from Brussels, Belgium. And these are our points. For Los Bando, 28 points. And for Old Boys, 33 points. And finally, and at last, Fight Girl, 39 points. Bye! Bye.
So we have gotten a chance to talk to the director, Christian Lowe. This is the director from Los Bando. So Christian, I first of all wanted to say that I loved your film. In each scene, I felt that there was a flow which made it look like the film was one single shot. Was this your intention? Uh, the, the script writer of the movie, Aril Tryggestad, is also an uh, editor and the editor of the movie. Wow. So uh, I think he managed to make a fantastic flow in the movie. Yeah. Okay, and how did you come up with putting a nine-year-old girl in a group full of boys? Oh yeah, it's. Uh, I think it, that was also an idea from the from the scriptwriter, okay. and uh, and uh, we had this idea about uh, this girl like being uh, this like uh, natural force, and uh, she loves music, uh, and she also wants to get away. So when this band is going to the national championship yeah. up north in Norway, she definitely wants to join. So. I wonder, were you in a band yourself? Because if you make a film about a band... <laughs> uh, yes, I played in a, a rock band when I was a youth myself called Old Yusur. And, uh, and uh, we even went to the national championships wow. of rock uh, in the real. So uh, I think it's a little bit little bit inspired from uh, <laughs> my own youth uh, that way. <laughs> That's great. We also have on the screen Jakob and Tyril. Those are two actors from the movie. <laughs> Give it up. Okay, I see that they're not here yet. Okay, um, so I think they're not here yet, but until then... Um, so, together with everything that happened during the film, it is an absolute comedy. But you've been able to tackle some of the problems of the kids in a very positive way. Was it difficult to get to this emotional side without losing the comic element? Uh, no, I, I think uh, the four characters or the four actors we found, they, uh, we rehearsed a lot with them. and. Uh, and they became like friends in real life, and uh, and I uh, and I think also this is uh, ensemble movies with like four main characters, and they each have their individual problems and mm -hmm. uh, their dreams, and uh, and uh, yeah. So I think uh, it worked very well That's in, great. Uh, on the feeling level. And music is all about feelings. You yeah. Know? yeah. True. Okay, so later on, we're going to continue the interview with Jacob and Tyril, and then I have a few more questions for you. Give it up for Christian Lowe! <laughs> the next country we, are, we got our votes from is Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here are the votes. Hello from Sarajevo. My name is Hennes. And my name is John. Here are the votes of jury from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Los Bando got 38 points. Old Boys got 17 points. Fight Girl got 45 points. Bye! Thank you, John and Hennes. Next is the land of the roses. I'm talking about Bulgaria. We're in Sofia. Hi, from Sofia, Bulgaria. I'm Toma. And I'm Pavel, and we're here to present the results from Sofia, Bulgaria. And here are they. Was Bando has 29 points. Old Voice has 32 points. And Fight Girl has 39 points. Bye. <laughs> that was very sweet, Pavel and Toma. The next country is a country of a thousand islands. We are in Zagreb, Croatia. My name is Khan. Uh, here are the voting results. Los Bando has 44 points. Old Boys 31. And Fight Girl 25 points. If you were wondering why everything looks so tacky here, it's because we are backstage. This is the technical heart of the show. This part makes it 
able for you to watch it live home. This year, the nominations have been done by teens as well. Five kids from five countries watched six pre-selected films from 2018 and chose the three nominations. Here is the nomination committee. Melitza, Friederike, Constantin, Maria and Jesse. Make some noise. Hey guys, first of all, I am super proud of you and I am super proud that you have been trusted to choose even the nominees of the festival. Maria, why did you decide to take part in the nomination committee? <coughs> so this is an internet connection, so it might take a little longer for them to hear the questions. Maria, we're ready when you are. <clears throat> Maria, can you hear me? Okay, we'll move on to a next question. So, Constantin, how much fun was it being a part of the nomination committee? Okay, so we're having problems with the sounds. Let's see. Milica, can we hear you? I don't know, can you? Yes, I can. Okay, Milica, are you a filmmaker yourself? Uh, no, I'm not a filmmaker, but I make small clips on my phone and I edit them a bit, but oh. I would really want to be a filmmaker or an actor. When really? I grow up. Yeah. That's super great. And what would you like to make a film about? Uh, I like high fantasy or dark fantasy in general. So something like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones things. Like That's that. really great. I wish you a lot of, a lot of luck becoming a filmmaker. <laughs> um, Jesse, can we hear you? Yes. Say something. Yeah? Okay, Jesse, did your opinion change during the discussion with the group? My decision changed a bit during the choosing process. Yeah. Uh, hearing other people's perspectives and views on the films changed my views too. Great. Wow. That's really good. And let's see. Um, Friederike, can we yeah. hear you? Yes, I hope. Great. Okay. What was the review process like? Um, it was fun, even though I was really stressed at the beginning that I I won't have time enough to watch all of these movies. But actually it was quite fun because you had an excuse to watch a lot of new movies. Um, even, those, even though not all of these movies would be movies I would normally watch, it was still fun and a great experience. That's really great. Okay, Constantine, my question was actually, how much fun did you have? But we can't hear you. So on a scale of one to 10, Raise your fingers, how much fun did you have? 10 out of 10, that's great. Maria, can you hear us? Okay, it looks as though she cannot hear us. Let's move on to the other votes. The next votes are from the Czech Republic in Prague. It is the land of Milos Forman. Here are the votes. And these are the results from Prague. Los Bando has 37 points. Old Boys has 24 points. And Fight Girl has 39 points. Accept! Thank you, Sophie, Louisa, and Christoph. Do you remember the picture of the houses with a lot of different colors? That's right, I'm talking about Denmark. They had screenings in four different countries. Alborg, Aarhus, Copenhagen, and Stadium. Hello, my name is Noah, and I'm a Jewish speaker from Albor, Denmark. Hello, my name is Sarah, and I'm also a Jewish speaker from Denmark. And here's the final scores. Uh, Los Bando got 32 points. Old Boys got 24 points. And Fight Girl got 44 points. Thank you for the votes. 
I will repeat the cities because there are four of them. Aalborg, Aarhus, Copenhagen, and Stege. Those are a lot of cities. The next country is covered 52% by trees. This is Estonia. They voted in Tallinn. Hello from Tallinn, Estonia. I am Lucia. And I am Greg. Thank you for the wonderful European youth films that we had a chance to watch and discuss about. Here are the results of the Estonian jury. Uh, Los Bando, 37 points. Old Boys, 22 points. Fight Girl, 41 points. Have a great evening in the award ceremony. And may, may the, the best, best film win. win. Thank you for the votes. Now we're going to the home country of Santa Claus. This is Finland in Espo. Greeting from Finland. We have no vote. And here are the results. Los Bando got 39 points. Old Boys got 17 points. Fight Girl got 44 points. We had such a fun day today. Bye-bye! Thank you, Pila and Rania. Next up, from high up in the mountain, is the land of the Lumière brothers. This is France. I'm Lilio. I'm Laurent. And we are from France. Bruce and Maurice. So, 33 points for Les Bando. 22 points for Old Boy. And 45 points for Fight Girl. It's an amazing day. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Lilo and Luan. Next is the land of Beethoven, our hosting country. They had screenings in three different cities. Berlin, Chemnitz and Erfurt. This is Germany. And this is Alessio. We had an amazing day at the Young Audience Award. We counted the points from Chemnitz, Berlin and Erfurt together. Here are the results from Germany. Los Bandos gets 33 points, Old Boys has 23 points and Fighter Girl has 44 points. Thank you for this exciting experience that we share with so many other European film fans. Thank you, Lina and Alessio. I'm back again with the director of Los Bando, Christian Lowe, and on the screen, Tyril and Jakob, two of the actors. Make some noise! <laughs> so, I have some questions for the actors, actually. Jakob, during the film, you sing so off-key. Was that you, and how did you manage? Yeah, that was me. Uh, well, we practiced a lot because I thought it was really hard in the beginning because you have to be like a little bit under the note that you're supposed to sing to make it uh, sound natural. Uh, so it was a bit difficult, but when we practiced a lot, it worked out in the end. <laughs> That's great. Christian, do you remember a funny moment where Jakob was actually singing on key, maybe? Were there... Those yeah, kinds of moments? The, the, the thing is that he, he, he is actually a really good singer. Wow. Yeah. And uh, that, uh, I think, made it uh, even harder for him to, <laughs> to uh, sing uh, bad. Because yeah. when you're actually a good singer, you, you automatically sing good. So we had to, we had to work a lot on that, uh, Jacob. <laughs> but it turned out really funny in the end, I think. Yeah, it did. Um, Tiril, how old are you now? I'm 12 years old. And how old are you when you did the film? Um, 10 years old. Well, in the film, she is nine years old, and that is so young. She's the most mature character out of them all. What was the most difficult while filming? Um, the most difficult thing in the start was that it was the camera in front of me when I acted. But after a while, I get used to it, and it was really fun, yeah. 
I and think we can I think we can all agree that it's pretty nerve-wracking to be on a camera. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today and good luck tonight. We are going back to our voters. Next country to present the results is the land of Houdini. We're in Budapest, Hungary. Hey, we're the Jewish speakers from Budapest, Hungary. My name is Alexandra. And my name is Boti. We would like to announce the points. So, the first one, Los Bando, got 39 points. Old Boys got 26 points. And Fight Girl got 35 points. Thank you for your votes. Think about glaciers, waterfalls, waterfalls, geysers, lava fields. The next land is Iceland. We're in Reykjavik. Hi, my name is Rana. Hi, my name is Brynjar. Greetings from Reykjavik. Here are our points. Los Panto, 44 points. Old Boys, 25 points. Fight Girl, 31 points. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for your votes. We're going to the land of castles and music. We're in Dublin, Galway, Ireland. <laughs> Hello from Dublin, Ireland. My name is Julia. And my name is Marcus. Here are our votes. Los Bando got 31 points. Old Boys got 25 points. And Fight Girl got 43 points. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Julia and Marcus. Next is the land of emperors, art, epic wars, and love stories, and Fellini. Here is from Florence, Rome, and Turin, Italy. Hello from Turin, Italy. My name is Noemi. My name is Pietro. Here are the young audience support votes from Turin, Firenze, and Rome in Italy. Los Bandos, 36 points. Old Boys, 22 points. Fight Girl, 42 points. Ciao from Torino, Italy! Bye. Bye! Next is one of the youngest countries in the world. We are in Prizren, Kosovo. Hello, Euro! Greetings from Prizren, Kosovo. My name is Tina. My name is George. Here are the voting results. Los Bando. 34 points. Old Boys. 19 points. Fight Girl. 47 points. See you next year! Thank you for your votes, Kosovo. Next, we are in Riga. This is the land of Art Nouveau, Latvia. Hello from Riga. My name is Anna. My name is Sabine. Here is the result of our vote. Las Bandas. 35 points. Old Boys. 28 points. Fight Girl. 37 points. Toby, would you like to hold the microphone? So, we got a chance to talk to Toby McDonald. This is the director of Old Boys. First of all, Toby, I'd like to say that I was very impressed. The film seems timeless to me. If you wouldn't have used a cell phone, I'd be completely stuck if these were the 60s, the 80s, or Generation Z. Was it intentional that you chose not to let the audience see when it was set? Yes, uh, we wanted it to uh, have a, a feeling, an analog feeling to it, so that the um, handwritten letters and the, uh, the um, creative exchange between the two uh, lead characters um, had a lot of character and felt very handmade. Right, that's amazing. And there is a crazy sport in the film. Yeah. How much of this sport was made up? Uh, it's kind of a mixture of different sports that they play at those types of schools, right. uh, often made up by the boys, often extremely violent uh, as well. Yeah. So uh, um, it, it's a pretend sport, but we use different parts of it. Right. Um, and the female character, Agnes, is more passionate, more creative, and she seems stronger than all of the boys in her life. 
was it intentional to position her as the big difference from everyone, everybody else? Uh, yeah, I think these are boys that have been stuck at a, an all-boys boarding school for uh, f since they were seven or eight, so they don't really know much about the outside world. They just know about um, being at the school. So Agnes is a very real girl, uh, um, uh, a French girl, and uh, very worldly as well. So she, uh, yeah, she's, she's much smarter than they are. Right. Um, and so I assume you wrote the film yourself? I worked with, uh, with, a, uh, with a writer on, on the movie, yeah. Right. And the characters don't really get a happy ending. Was it intentional to do that? Yes. Uh, we always felt that the film should have a bittersweet ending, uh, an ending where maybe the characters didn't get exactly what they wanted at the beginning. Right. Um, but they were all changed uh, by their friendships with each other. So it's a film about how, um, how at certain moments in your life, friendships can, can change your life. Right. Um, Amberson, the main character, is very um, creative in the, films, in the film. In one of the scenes, he's making a short film. Um, do you know, do you think it's uh, mandatory for an actor to also want to work behind the scenes? Or did Alex want to work behind the scenes? Uh, Alex is a, a renaissance man. He does sort of everything. Uh, right. He's a, so um, cool. a great writer uh, as well. Um, uh, but I think that was part of the character, I think. But uh, one thing that actors learn a lot from being on set uh, is, is how to direct and make films as well at the same time. So yeah. I think it's natural that they go to that. Thank you so much for this interview. I wish you a lot of good luck Thanks. tonight. And we are going back to our voters. <laughs> this is the first country ever to have an official scent. We are going to Kaunas and Vilnius in Lithuania. And we are from Lithuania! And here are the Lithuanian votes. Los Bando has got 33 points. The old boys have 20 points. And Fight Girl has 46 votes. Thank you and have a nice day. See you next year! Thank you, Goda and Jonas. They may be a small country, but they have big hearts. This is Luxembourg. Hi, I'm Ivana. Hi, I'm Khan. We are the jury speakers from Luxembourg. Here are the final points for each film. Los Bando has 31 points. Old Boy has 23 points. White Girl has 45 points. She's from Luxembourg! I don't know if you catch that, but that was another Ivana and Khan, thank you for the votes. Next, we are going to the Blue Lagoon. This is Valletta, Malta. Hi, my name is Kylie. Hi, I am Aiden. And we are here in Valletta, Malta to announce to you the results of the Maltese jury for the Young Audience Award 2019. So, Los Bando got 33 points, Old Boys got 38 points, and Fight Girl got 29 points. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Aiden and Kylie. The next country is the new destination to be. We're in Nikšiš and Podgo Podgorica, Montenegro. Hello, my name is Milena. My name is Anastasia, and here's a final results for Montenegro. Los Bando, 36 points. Old Boys, 20 points. Five Girl, 44 points. Thank you, Milena and Anastasia. We are going to the birthplace of Mother Teresa. That is right. We're in Skopje in North Macedonia. Hello, Europe. Greeting from Skopje. I am Ivona. And I am Sara. And these are the votes from our jury. Los Bando, 37 points. Old Boys, 18 points. And Fight Girl, 45 points. Thank you, Ivona and Sarah. The smartest woman in the world was born here. 
Marie Curie. This is a country that selected four cities, Gdynia, Poznan, Warsaw, and Roslov, <laughs> Poland. Greetings from Poland. Hello, Poznan! Hello from Poland! Hello from Poznan! Hello from Poland! Hello from Poznan! Hello from Poland! Hello from Poland! Hello from Poland! My name is Verenka. And my name is Kuba. And we have our voting results from Poland. Los Bando got 33 points. All boys got 26 points. And five girls got 40 points. Thank you. Those were our voting results. Greetings from Poznan. Bye! So now we have a chance to talk to the director of Fight Girl, Johan Timmers, and Bo Bissenburg playing Aiko. Hoi Johan and Aiko, alles goed? Uh, alles goed. <laughs> <laughs> the film is so dynamic and it feels so real. How did you decide to cast a girl and why kickboxing? Uh, the original story was by Barbara Jurgen, scriptwriter, and she made that combination. And when I read the script, I thought immediately, wow, this is a, a great uh, combination, young girls and fighting. And that in combination with the problems they have, especially the lead character with their divorce of their parents, yeah. uh, gave it an energy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And Aiko, are you a kickboxer in real life? Um, no, actually not. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Maybe speak a little louder if that's possible? Uh, I'll try, I'll try. Oh, and first of all, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Um, but no, I'm not a kickboxer in real life, actually. I'm an actress, and for the film I had to learn how to kickbox. And, um, so how long did you have to train? I had to train for four months and uh, three times a week, so that was quite intense. <laughs> that's a lot, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really impressive. Um, and then, Johan, yeah. how do you resolve the conflict with the parents? Well, from the beginning, I thought um, this movie is about uh, the children. And in my point of view, the children are more grown up than the parents. I think the parents are chi childish in their constantly fighting. They're not lo good looking good after their children. So I really um, put them away in the frame. Yeah. I wanted to be the, the children to be the real uh, heroes. Yeah, and what is the message that you would like to send to the younger generation? Well, everybody gets problems in their youth and um, if you find something like kickboxing or music or reading or whatever that, that gives you a passion and, and you can really put your energy in it, it, uh, it can heal a lot. Yeah, exactly. Um, Wise words. Um, Aiko, do you think it's possible for girls and boys to fight one another in the ring without gender difference? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we are... Oh, Aiko, we had um, a bit of a hesitation, so repeat that, please. <laughs> um, absolutely. <laughs> um, I absolutely think that that should be possible, especially because now... We live in a period of time where everybody's just so aware that equality is very important, also gender equality. So um, I think that whenever a girl has the same weight as a boy, which is very important when it comes to a kickboxing match, um, I think that it should be able that um, girls and boys can just fight one another in the ring. Why not? Yeah, great, exactly. I agree. Johan, do you have anything to add to that? Well, no, I'm only when I'm looking at her and listening to her, I think still, what a smart girl <laughs> and, and what a great actress. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you and good luck.
I am looking forward to my first kickboxing lesson. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go back to the countries. We are following the footsteps of Vasco da Gama into Lisbon, Portugal. Hi, my name is Gabriela. Hi, I'm Lili Vitrich, and these are the votes from Portugal. These are the votes from Portugal! All points, 20 points. Um, two, three. Fight Girl, 45 points. That was a very creative video, I might add. Next country is the one that has given the essence of horror movies, Count Dracula. We're in Cluj, Romania. Greetings from Romania. My name is Ilya Kioran and I'm 14 years old. And my name is Raluca Nemeti and I'm 13 years old. And here are our final votes from Cluj. Los Bando got 36 points. Old Boys got 23 points. And Fight Girl got 41 points. Kisses, Kisses from Romania. Next is the country of the famous tennis player, Djokovic. We're in Gorni Milanovac in Serbia. Hello, Europe. These are the points from Serbia. Los Bando, 35 points. Old Boys, 19 points. And Fight Girl, 46 points. Bye-bye from Serbia! Thanks, guys, for your votes. Andy Warhol descends from the next country. We're in Bratislava in Slovakia. Hello, my name is Anet. And my name is Branislav. Hi from Bratislava. Slovakia. So, Los Bando got 36 points. Old Boys got 23 points. And Fight Girls got 41 points. Thank, Thank you, you and see you, see you next, next year. Thank you for your votes. Next is the land of bees. We are in Izola in Slovenia. Hi, I'm Stefan and I'm 12 years old and I'm from Slovenia, Slovenia. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm 12 years old too. Um, I am from Kutcheva, Slovenia. So the points are Los Bando, 37. Old Boys, 22 points. Bye. 2,800 teens, 55 Five cities in 34 countries across Europe and beyond voted today. And the amazing thing is, all voters are teenagers because that is the right thing to do. Allow the kids to choose without having the prejudice of education and rules. Let's talk to some of the juries. Is there a microphone here? Yes. Thank you. So, what's your name? My name is Orion and I'm 12 years old. And you? I'm Lotte and I'm 13 years old. So, Orion, how did you make your choice? I made my choice by trying to concentrate during the movie. It started getting harder the more <laughs> movies I watched, but yeah. I made my decision. I could make my mind in the end. Great. And Lotte? Um, it was very hard, but um, it was the movie where I feel like the characters and yes it was like what I like most my first thoughts 
Yeah, exactly. That is so great. Thank you, guys. Give a round of applause. Come on. We are moving on to our last set of countries. The next country had four cities participating. A Coruña, Barcelona, Madrid, Seville, and Valencia. I'm sorry, five cities. This is the home of Picasso and Dali, Spain. to be part of the jury of the Young Alliance Award. <laughs> Hello from Barcelona. Here we have the results from Madrid, Valencia, Sevilla, Galicia, and Barcelona in Spain. Los Bando, 35 points. Old Boys, 27 points. And Fight Club, 38 points. Bye bye. Let's go to the land of the Vikings. We are in Malmo, Sweden. Good evening, everybody. We're here in Malmö, Sweden. My name is Benicio. And my name is Angelica. And here are the points of the Swedish jury. Los Bando gets 34 points. Old Boy gets 23 points. And Five Girl gets 43 points. That is all from the Swedish jury. Thanks a lot and good night. Bye. Thank you for these votes. So, because this is a live show, some things can go a bit different that, than they were supposed to be. The director is actually talking in my ear, because I have an in-ear in, and he told me that the connection to Switzerland was lost, unfortunately. But I'll tell everyone the results. So, can I have the results of Los Bando, please? 30, 31 points for Los Bando. For old boys, 24 points, and for Fight Girl, 46 points. Thank you, Switzerland. <laughs> now we're heading to the country on two continents. We're in Istanbul, Turkey. Hello, my name is Atay. Hello, my name is Azra, and these are the results from Turkey. Los Bando got uh, 36 points. Old Boys got 22 points. Five Girls got uh, 42 points. See, See you. you. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. This is our last country. From Lewis, London and Sheffield is the UK. Hello from the UK. My name's Emerson. And I'm Evie. And here are our results for the films. Lost Bando with 32 points. Old Boys with 20 points. And finally, Fight Girl with 48 points. Make some noise, guys. This is it. We have a winner. You chose for enormous talent, strong perspectives, fantastic views, friendship and fight. The winner of the IFA Young Audience Award 2019 is Fight Girl! Congratulations, Johan. Congratulations. Thank you. You can do a thank you speech. Thank you. Um, there are a few people I would like to thank. Uh, Jeroen de Bruin, my DOP. Um, um, my production designer, Barbara Jurgens, my scriptwriter, Philip Ravoud, my editor, my family, Simone, Josephine, and Cecile, and my producers, uh, Film Kitchen and Private View, and most of all, my dear leading actress, this is also for her, Aiko Beemsterboer. Exactly. Give it up. This was it, young film lovers. Now you're all a part of the YAA family. 
I would like to, to thank EFA to trust teens to run the whole process. That is the next step into the future. And for all the YAA lovers out there, post your best picture on Insta with the hashtag YAA2019 and we'll make it big. I loved it. I hope you loved it too. For all of you watching from home, all films will, will be available for streaming. Check our website, yaa.europeanfilmawards.eu for all information. Don't forget, don't stop loving films. I'm Ivana Noah, and I'll see you in 2020. Bye!